happy Thursday. I am here to talk about being a burnt out mom and how burnt out moms want freedom. It is really, really important to the process of burnout recovery to lean into this feeling of freedom. A lot of us got burnt out because of lack of freedom in our, either in our job, it could have been in our parenting, it could be, um, for me, it was, I had to dive into a caretaking role for first my mother-in-law, then my parents, so not having a choice in that, um, I mean, I did have a choice, but I, my choice was to dive into the caretaking role because I really saw the need for it and I wanted to be there. But to come out the other side of a, of a time in your life where you were caretaking or giving all, this happens a lot in with our younger children, right? So you coming out of that toddler phase of babies and toddlers and preschool. And then a lot of times we get to that kid, you know, the kids go to school age or they're more independent age. And we realize just how little freedom we had had in the last five, six, seven, eight years of our lives. And we're ready for some freedom. And what happens in those times is it can get kind of scary. It can get uncertain. It can trigger a lot of fear. Um, and also we can go into a place of self-aggression. Well, I haven't been taking care of myself for however many years, five, six, seven, eight years, a lifetime possibly. For me as a child, I was a caretaker. I helped. I was a peacekeeper. I was a responsible one. I got the jobs done. And so for me, coming out of that role in adulthood, that, you know, for me, the, I, I woke up around like the age of 36, 37, 38. And I was like, there's more to me than this, this part. And uh, so there's a lot of unpacking that goes on when you are giving yourself space to be free. Um, and it can bring up a lot of scary feelings, like I said before. And that's where looking for what supports you in your nervous system is crucial in burnout recovery. Um, and why I built my membership program around this idea of finding freedom in your body freedom in your mind, freedom in your schedule. Um, and the membership has like lots of different membership tiers so it can meet you where you are in your level of need, whatever you need to work on. So this, uh, the link's in the description of the video if you want to check it out, the membership tiers. But some of the coursework that are in there um, brings you through connection to your body, reconnecting to your desires, reconnecting to your purpose, um, how to be with children who know these things about themselves that are more free. I have children that are totally in their level of freedom. They aren't caretaking me. They aren't pleasing or placating me. And that can be really difficult. Like when they tell me no, that's them taking care of themselves. Um, that triggers me. That brings up a lot for me to have to be with before I can respond with them. Uh, examples of their freedom are Taylor doesn't care if we're late. She doesn't care if she's finishing. Like yesterday, <laughs> she's finishing a song in the car. But that was the yeah, yesterday we went to her volleyball clinic and she wanted to finish singing a song in the car. She didn't care that she was already five minutes late <laughs> to practice, to stretching, all of that. She feels the need 
to meet her needs and finish this feeling of freedom in her body for her that is finishing singing a song and it's not taking care of everybody else. Um, and so when we are coming at, we and burnout recovery, we have to be with that place in ourselves where we're taking care of ourselves without this constant desire to take care of other people. And it feels selfish. But you know what? You deserve that time to devote to yourself. And that's why I have all of the coursework that's in my membership to go through self-guided. And let me tell you, if you love the idea of committing to yourself and you sign up for this, that, and the other, or you try this program and that program, and you don't follow through, I've made my membership accessible to you because it has group coaching as well if you have the desire to have the accountability to be with other people doing the same thing you're doing and not feeling so alone, feeling like we're in this together and we're all working towards a common uh, place in our life to commit to ourselves, to commit to each other on this journey. And if even if that doesn't sound appealing to you, like I don't want to be in a group that's vulnerable. I don't, I don't want to show where like I'm not taking care of myself or I'm constantly giving up on myself. One-on-one -on -one support, I'm not going to judge you. I am a non-judgmental. I work hard at sitting in neutrality in my coaching. And I also push you to look at things that maybe you're not seeing, right, that are holding you back. Why are you continually getting into burnout over and over? Why are you not taking care of yourself and constantly giving to other people? Why are you not giving yourself freedom in your schedule to, or freedom in your self-care to meet your needs in the moment? Like for, for, um, our coaching call yesterday, uh, group, was it yesterday? Group call this week. It's on Tuesdays. I led a dance movement break because that's what my body needed. I needed to dance. And sometimes we just need to honor what we need in the moment. Even the coach does. Okay. So honoring what you need in the moment takes practice <laughs> over and over to understand what your needs are, especially if you've been taking care of the needs of others since childhood. Um, sometimes that might be dancing like I did in my coach call the other day. Sometimes it could just be like, I just need to get in bed and cry. Like, honestly, when was the last time you did that? And you you let your children know or your partner, I'm going to go lay in bed. I need to be emotional right now. Like, that's all I need. I don't need anyone to take care of me. What comes up for you? For me, I'm like, that was not a thing. Like, it was judged harshly. Emotional needs were judged growing up. So when I take the time now to do that, I feel super awkward, super scared, super selfish. All the things come up. Like, I'm not going to be a good mom. I'm going to look like my kids are going to think I'm like uh, not taking care of them. They're going to all the things, all the stories. So what do you need in the moment is really important, whether it's dancing, crying, sitting in the sun. Like, I'm just going to sit here in the sun and not uh, cook breakfast right now. This is what I want. I will cook breakfast in 20 minutes. 
how does that feel to you when you think about being able to take time to take care of yourself? It could also look like rescheduling, canceling something on somebody. Hey, I'm not feeling up to this. Um, or something came up that I need to attend to and I either have to reschedule or cancel. How does that feel to you when you have to tell someone that? It's so important to burnout recovery that you give yourself that freedom. You want that freedom and sometimes it takes coaching. It really does practice over and over to not feel like you're dying, like the fear and anxiety will consume you if you don't have a safe place to practice. So click the link in the description of this video, get in my Ohm in the Home Revolution membership, start doing the work to transform your life and get out of that burnout cycle. I love you all. May you be well. May you be peaceful. May you be safe. Namaste.